Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia G60 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So let's get started with the dark mode which can be found under the display and settings. You just have a nice switch right here to switch between light and dark and also if you click on the text it will allow you to choose a schedule and this will then force the device to switch it for you at the provided time that you have chosen. A uh, really nice option for the schedule to be honest. So you can get the dark mode during the night time and light mode during the daytime which is what I would consider probably the best alternative. Now moving on to the next one, it's going to be the refresh rate which is also under the display. We do have by default set it to adaptive but also if you want to preserve battery life you might want to change it to standard. This will always want to display at 60. You won't have this nice battery smooth animations like you do with 120 but you will have a better battery life. Now by how much I don't exactly know so that is something that you might want to check out yourself if it's worth the trade-off. Uh, but nonetheless you should have some kind of battery life addition to it. I mean from this change in general. Now moving on to the next thing, it's going to be ge gestures which are located under system and gestures there. There we go. Now we have several different options right here. So we have jump to camera, system navigation and so on. So I'm going to just talk about a couple of them. Uh, you can check out all of them if you want to, but for instance, uh, we have system navigation. Uh, by default I have chosen the gesture navigation which is you know swipe up to home swipe and hold and swipe from from the sides to get it but you can obviously switch it to the three button navigation which you might be used to or the other way around maybe you have been using these and you want to check out uh, gesture navigation which again completely up to you so that's one uh, another one would be jump to camera as you can see double press the power button to open up camera really quickly also a nice one and also if you tend to maybe sometimes enable these set these options by mistake and you don't want them you can toggle them off from here so there we go now moving on to another one this will be with a home screen and it touches upon the upgrade so if we hold our finger we'll have settings right here so home actually my, my bad let's do that again there we go wallpaper and style that's where it is and here we have a couple different options for, for instance, the uh, colors. So you can change the colors of like the toggles right here and so on. And then you have also the dark mode right here toggle, which I showed at the very beginning. But we also have the upgrade right here. So we have 5x5, 4x4 and 3x3. You can choose whichever one you prefer. I'm going to stick with the 5x5. This is my preferred one. And a last thing that I wanted to show you, it's something that uh, some people might not like. It's a fairly new thing and uh, it took me a moment to actually realize how it actually works or how to get it in general. So I believe from Android 12, though I might be incorrect, I know that Pixels have it. You can get this kind of like dynamic app, which basically shows you the most recent application that you have opened. Now. When I was doing this on Pixel, I thought that it's by having a 5x5 upgrade, but that wasn't the case. Here, it's by just having less in your dock, because this is a dock technically, uh, less apps than it can actually hold. So as you can see, the dock can hold five apps, but if I remove and have only four right now, as you can see, there's technically only four, this becomes empty. Uh, it substitutes one of these empty spots for a dynamic one. So as you can see right now it's photos and I can just open up photos quickly. But if I were to on something else that probably isn't in a dock. Let's see. I know that this changes because of the outline, but I can't figure out how. Come on, change to something else. Don't do me this dirty. There we go. So it looks like uh, the app cannot be on the same page right here to actually switch. Which again, I just picked one that actually exists. So sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I, I believe that if you don't open it up from the home screen, if it's here, then it will switch it. So you can see if I open up anything, it will switch back to photos. 
missing messages. So, still, the doc, I guess. YouTube? Home screen. So yeah, it, it's kind of iffy. I assume if you have way more apps visible uh, on maybe a couple of pages or just way more of them here, uh, this probably might have a little bit more success. But uh, in addition, you're not just limited to one. You can just have a full, I believe, doc of like all these apps. Yep, so as you can see now, there are three of them dynamically. So it shows three most recent applications that you have opened. So it will switch up whatever you open, uh, open which to some people might be interesting. Now, uh, there is one more thing that I want to show you. If you pull up your applications, you also have this right here. So this is the suggested applications, also recently opened ones. If you don't want this to be visible right here, you can get rid of it by again holding on a home screen and selecting home settings, going to suggested and toggling this off. Uh, now, unfortunately, this also, as you can see, toggles off the uh, suggested or most recently opened apps as well but it gets rid of this as an addition now the empty space right now you can fill it back up with apps as you probably had it before oops so there we go but yeah there we go so anyway if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching